from EJ. He's got that one uh, pretty close to the middle. That's the came down. Pick that up, more. pick that one up quite nicely. Something really has to be done here, as you can see, moving down there the wicket and picking, getting right up onto the ball. Where that shot, we've got to get up onto the ball and lifting it. Oh, that's a nice shot. Heath Davis has just been moved wider, and uh, EJ has got that one fine to pick up the boundary. Pakistan. He's got that one away down towards square leg, and this is going to go all the way. Yes, it has. That's well played. That'll take the pressure off a little bit. As we said, the problems might start for New Zealand once Davis comes back at his pace. He struggled to get his line right. He's bowled a couple of good deliveries, and then suddenly he would bowl something like this. Swing on to leg stump. And Ijaz Ahmed making no mistake in punishing that on the onside. That's a short delivery and whacked away down towards square leg. They've got a man on the boundary there, but he's missed it. Well, Kipak Patel is not having the greatest uh, day in the field. He got to that one all right, but uh, it really was only a half-hearted go. Just what Pakistan wanted at the start of the over, a boundary. Good shot here by Ijaz. He likes to play the pull. And he found the gap as well. Deepak Patel not getting... He's got him this time, looking to play across the line, Ijaz Ahmed. And Nathan Astell's luck continues with the ball. He's dismissed Ijaz Ahmed when he was just about looking to change gear. Yes, let's have another look at it. Uh, he's close to the stumps, isn't he? And I think uh, that seam is bolted upright. Well, I, I really think that's probably out. There was a little puff of dust there, but the, because he was so close to the stumps, uh, I think that's why he gave it out. So EJ is not happy with it. 52 or 72 balls and it's 189 for four.